What's up guys, this is Ian from DegenerateChain.com. Just got a quick tutorial for you to show you what I think is the easiest way to make sure that you get your Callisto in the upcoming drop. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, the classic Ether wallet is very similar to my Ether wallet. Uh, if you're familiar with that, you can use it the same way. Uh, make sure you go to exactly this link, the HTTPS, and I will provide the link below in the description. Now, once you get here, I recommend trying to connect, if you have one, using a ledger or Trezor. That's, of course, the best option. Any of these other options here you can do, they're just going to be less secure. So let's go ahead and get started with the Trezor. However you pronounce that, I'm not sure. Okay, once that's loaded, go ahead and start the process. Hit export. I'm going to pause the video while I type in my PIN. Okay, once you're in, uh, go ahead and select an address to use. Now, all you're going to do is take this address and then go to wherever you have your ETC. Uh, for a lot of people, it's probably going to be on an on exchange. Uh, in my case, I have it on a Jax wallet. Not that Jax is that great, but it's been working. As you can see here, I've got a bunch of little payments coming in. I've been doing just a little bit of mining uh, through Nanopool. Uh, so if anyone's thinking about mining, uh, this has been, uh, I've got two, uh, two 1070s and one AMD uh, 580X, I believe, uh, combining for a decent performance of about 0.1 uh, ETC per day. Um, anyways, there's lots of good tutorials on how to do that. Back to the wallet, We've got our address. Go to Jax. Pretty straightforward from here. I'm gonna go ahead and send all of it. Not a lot, but just a little for the uh, tutorial. And get the process going. Cool. Go ahead and hit confirm. Um, go ahead and pause the video while I take care of this. Okay, transaction has been sent. So we can hop back over to Classic Ether Wallet and let's check on the status of that. And one thing you can do while you're waiting uh, is you can come over here in Transaction History and just select the uh, link to the gas tracker.io. And once that loads, it'll show you uh, the status of your transaction. So I'll, I'm just sitting here waiting for my confirmations. And once that goes through, I will have successfully transferred over that about 3.1 ETC. And um, of course, I'm just using the uh, classic Ether wallet as a web interface so that I can store the private keys on my Tracer. And uh, once I do that, um, then I should be good for the upcoming uh, uh, airdrop. Uh, we do know that the Callisto airdrop is going to happen once we hit 5.5 uh, million. So we're almost there, getting close. Uh, this is being done, uh, I'm making this video Sunday, March 4th uh, at about almost 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, so we should hit that, uh, should, should hit the, uh, the block height coming up here uh, probably late tonight or early on March 5th. So hopefully uh, you guys can get uh, get your private keys stored. Uh, certainly, you know, it's best not to have them on the exchanges. Uh, who knows what Jack is going to do. Uh, I, I do think this is a good solution uh, using the classic Ether wallet. Uh, to make sure you have your private keys so you're all set for the uh, Callisto airdrop. All right, guys. Take care.